The Bible itself is a vouch that Catholic history on papacy is in fact false and for that to be realized, then someone who have written Catholic history in its fullness is not actually reliable. Some historians were dishonest and biased for the Catholic Church altering what should have been facts in order to derail perception on its dissonant past. Catholic history written on wide array of publications especially in Catholic Encyclopedia have manifested the claim that the true Church was Catholic and Peter as the first Pope was succeeded by Saint Linus in that publication of pure malice to derail reality by the maneuver of historical records. Peter as first Pope succeeded by Saint Linus. How do I know that such Catholic history has been an attempt to whitewash what should have been a true record? In short, how do I know that such Catholic history is false? It's simple. The Bible has an irrevocable record that instead of Saint Linus succeeding the leadership, it was Paul who became leader while Peter was demoted to being a subordinate. Let me prove. In Paul's letter he said this. Colossians 1 verse 25. 25 Whereof I am made a minister, according to the oikonomia of God which is given to me for you. To fulfill the word of God. Paul was given the oikonomia of God for Paul to perform it to the Christians as it say. According to the oikonomia of God which is given to me for you. Unquote. Oikonomia is the Greek word used to mean administration. Therefore, what was given to Paul was the administration of God. Administration means government. So what was actually given to Paul was the government of God. For someone to have been entrusted the government of God then it means he was entrusted to rule, to govern as leader. How come? Because he was entrusted the government of God. Here is a look at the Strong's Concordance. It supplies three necessary definitions, A. Administration B. Stewardship C. Dispensation. All these three suggest leadership as all of these were the oikonomia of God. A position that God firmly holds over humanity as head. Administration of God. Stewardship of God. Dispensation of God. It speaks of God's supreme rule and that, he was entrusting it to Paul as he should apply for the church as it say. According to the oikonomia of God which is given to me for you. Unquote. Administration of God speaks of the government of God. Stewardship and dispensation of God speaks of the management of God. This speaks of God's supreme rule as head or leader. He entrusted this to Paul making Paul the leader of the church, the presiding minister. Clearly, Paul was the leader of the church and not Peter. A supporting verse. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 17. 17, But as God hath distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called every one, so let him walk. And so ordain I in all churches. Paul said. And so ordain I in all churches. Unquote. A proof of leadership. For the Bible to have attested this in contrary to Catholic history, then Catholic history on papal succession is false. It's a falsification of historical account, a forgery. Having this as reality, then anything that regards Catholic history cannot be trustworthy much so to the intent of proving itself as the true church cannot be trustworthy. They tampered history for an honorable reputation, as indeed reputable and true Christians, but who knows what else are lies in their portfolio of propaganda to hide what should have been true records, and true records should have attested that they in any way isn't connected at all to apostolic preeminence. Catholics lied in their attempt to historically attest for an apostolic connection. Thank you and God bless. Oh, Lord, I'm on